Okay, I've been, I was able to um, show us how to use YouTube to transcribe your audio or video material. If you missed that, you can refer to my last video. It's a short one and um, it's very easy to learn. Um, in, round, in that video, I mentioned that um, after lifting or copying your text, you will see timestamps there. As you can see here, uh, this is the transcription of what was said in the video. How I got here, you can find out from my last video. But anyway, let me show us how you can remove these timestamps. Um, you would have copied this one. I have copied it. So I want to go and place it on a Word document. All right. So here is me placing it on a Word document. All right. So you can see this is a text of, you know, the transcript. So I've placed it here, but I still have the timestamps there. So how do I remove it? Remember, this is just the 15 minute, 15 second video. So if you, are, if you have to transcribe a 30 minutes or one hour video, you have a lot of text and then you have a lot of timestamps there. So how do I remove the timestamps without having to delete, you know, one after another? So that's what I quickly want to show you. It's simple to know you'd get it easily. So after you have pasted on a word document like this so you press ctrl h ctrl h ctrl h will bring out this dialog box for you ctrl h will bring out this dialog box for you it will be blank by the time it comes up um, this is so because i've used it previously so that's why you have something there so anyway when you do that when you're using it for the first time this is what you see press ctrl h it opens this dialog box likely to also show you like this you know you had it elongated because i had used it earlier so you see it like this once you press press control it this is what you find then you press more press more and under this more tick the box in front of use wildcards okay let me wait for the hold on <laughs> okay let me uh, yeah okay so you can see use wildcards now so tick it tick the box for use wildcards you can see it use wildcards um tick that box and then go to find what uh -huh, find what is up there so go to find what and then you click you you type in that find find what type question mark question mark colon question mark question mark can you see question mark question mark colon question mark question mark you've done that right then go to replace all remember what we want to do is to remove the timestamp so replace all okay all done we made 13 replacements okay all right so let's go and check our documents you can close this now you've done what you had to do so let's Check our document and see. All right. Can you see that everything, all the timestamps? Okay, I said the first one had been removed. Well, I can easily just delete that one now. Okay, so can you see? So now I can just close my spaces. But at least it has saved me the trouble of having to delete the timestamps one after another. Um, I think there is a way to remove the spaces. But uh, the way I know, remove just one space after another it doesn't remove it all at the same time like we did for the timestamps but well when once i stumble on how you can remove the spaces all in a swoop i'll share with us please remember to subscribe to this page for more tips for more tutorials when i learn things i would also bring it here so we all can learn together someone taught me this too some years ago a friend of mine uh, but in recent time, I just thought, well, so many people transcribe, why not just share the knowledge? All right, so I'll be bringing you tips and tutorials for all many things as i learn them i'll just bring them so this is my opinion me share the link subscribe and of course tell someone about my page thank you for visiting